Hi, I'm Jerry Romine, the Entrepreneur Abroad, and welcome to my channel. Believe it or not, the NASDAQ is actually up 3.92% year-to-date, which is crazy given the year that we've had so far. With record levels of unemployment, businesses being shut down, and no cure yet for the worldwide illness, the fact that the NASDAQ is up makes no sense to me. Sure, I could pretend that it all makes sense because the Fed is pumping all kinds of money into the economy, but when I sit back and think about it and see how many jobs are lost in the current state of the economy, there's just no way that I can rationalize the current state of the economy and the stock market being back to its pre-crash prices. The good news is that there's always ways to make money in the market, and I'm really happy because this was another profitable week. If you're new to my channel, be sure to watch my video, How to Analyze Stocks. It's a crash course on fundamental analysis that's actually fun and easy to understand. In today's video, I'm going to show you the nine stocks I bought this week and why. So grab a cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Before we get into the stocks I bought this week, I want to talk about the tensions between the U.S. and China and the possibility of Chinese companies being delisted. If you dig a little deeper into the bill, I don't think it's really a big deal because the Chinese companies would have three years to comply. So long term, I don't think it's really a big deal, but short term, it can definitely have an effect on the market and prices because the drama sells on the news. Because of that, I actually exited out of some of the Chinese companies I have just to be on the safe side and protect my money. I'm still bullish on many of the Chinese companies and I'll simply wait until this passes before I get back active and buying again. And if you've not already gotten your two free stocks from Webull valued up to $1,400, be sure to check out the link below. One of the viewers just got $1,400 worth of stock that was Googled just for signing up. Let's get on with the stocks I bought and why. All right, our first stock is Universal Corporation, which is UVV. And UVV is a really sweet dividend stock. They've got a dividend yield of 7.1%, a PE ratio of 12.23, a tattle ratio of 2.7, and I was able to buy this well below the intrinsic value and also able to buy it below the book value. The play on this is long. My cost basis was $42.72 and the risk I consider to be low. Hopefully you really appreciate my transparency on these trades and this lets you follow along. Just don't expect every trade to be a winner. The stock market simply doesn't work that way. Number two is Visa and the ticker is V. And for a buy and hold stock, it's hard to beat Visa and you really should watch the full analysis video. And I put that link down below. The net income margin for Visa is 52%. Seriously, how can you go wrong with that? The return on equity is 24.73%. The return on invested capital is 22.77%. The operating margin is 67% and its two-year stock performance has been a 47% return. The risk on this is low, my play is long-term, and my cost basis is $193.62. I do wish I could have bought Visa a little lower, but I still feel really good about the purchase price. The third stock is Honeywell International and their ticker is HON. And Honeywell is much more diversified than I think a lot of people realize and they're active in technology, aerospace, software, and they even have bulletproof armor. The PE ratio for Honeywell is 15.49. The net income margin is 17.38%. The operating margin is 21% and the stock's one week performance has been a 10.98% gain. The risk is low. My play on this is most likely long term, but I will still limit my losses and protect my profits. And the cost basis on this is $136.20. Number four is Capital Product Partners, ticker CPLP. And CPLP is a marine shipping company and they transport a range of dry cargoes and containerized goods. The PE ratio is a really low 6.28. The net income margin is 20%. The dividend yield is an impressive 17.31%. The tattle ratio is 1.98. And on the Peter Lynch estimator, this popped as an undervalue buy. And I was able to buy this well below the book value. I consider the risk on this to be medium. My play is medium to long term, and I'll always take the profits if it drops. And my cost basis is only $7.99 per share. Number five is ConocoPhillips, which is ticker COP. And ConocoPhillips is an oil stock that is one of my favorite from the oil sector. And it really came in strong in the oil sector fundamental analysis I did earlier this week. Be sure to check out that video in the description. 
The PE ratio is 12.83. The net income margin is 11.9%. The total shareholder yield is 12.84%. They have an operating margin of 19.4%. The tattle ratio is 1.93. I was able to buy this below the intrinsic value and the stock is up 5.9% this week. The risk on this I consider high because it's in the oil sector. This is a long-term play and my cost basis is $43.88. Number six is Bank of America, ticker BAC, and the economy is in turmoil and I really expect significant losses for the banks in the future. However, if the economy recovers quickly, then now is the time to buy bank stocks because the companies are financially strong and trading at huge discounts to their tangible book values. The PE ratio for Bank of America is low at 8.67. The net income margin is an impressive 29.57%. The return on equity is 16.45%. The operating margin is 35.8% and I was able to buy this below the book value. The risk on this I consider to be medium. If bank rates go negative, that would definitely be bad for the banks, but I personally do not think this is going to happen. The play on this is hopefully long term. I'll watch it closely and the cost basis for me is $22.86. Number seven today is Anika Therapeutics and their ticker is ANIK. They've got a PE ratio of 18.12, a net income margin of 20.87, an operating margin of 26.1%. Their tattle is 3.77. They are loaded with assets and that's quite impressive. Their debt ratio is crazy low at only 0.36 and I was able to buy this below the intrinsic value and their one week stock price is up 10.5%. The risk on this I consider to be medium. Uh, the play is for the medium term and the cost basis on this is 33.44. Number eight is Walmart with a ticker of WMT. And be sure to watch the full analysis video for Walmart. They've got lots of great stuff happening. Their PE ratio is 23.68. Their year to date, they are up 5.54%, which is great for a solid blue chip stock. I was able to buy them below the intrinsic value and they're coming in as undervalued on the peg. The risk is low, the play is long term, and the cost basis is 127.62. And number nine on the day is Johnson & Johnson, ticker JNJ. I really like holding strong pharmaceutical companies as a defensive strategy, especially with uncertain times that we're in right now. Their PE ratio is 22.16. Their six month stock price is up 6.69%. Their net income margin is 20.75%. Their operating margin is 26.1%. And I was able to buy them below the intrinsic value. They're also in the race for a cure for the worldwide illness. So if that happens, that's gonna be a free bonus as well. The risk on this I consider to be low. My play is long term and the cost basis is $148.90. Most of the stocks that I bought have a longer fundamental analysis video and that link is in the description. I really encourage you to check it out because it goes over each of the stocks in much more detail. These buys were the results of a complete financial analysis, price targets, analyst valuations, and side-by-side -side stock comparisons. If you want more details and the full fundamental analysis, the video links are in the description. If you want me to keep producing these videos, then all I ask is for a like and subscribe to keep this channel growing. Thanks a lot. All right, I like to keep these videos pretty short on the weekend, so thanks for joining me today. Be sure to sound off in the comments below and let me know what videos you might want me to make in the future. If you have not already, make sure you sign up for Webull to get a free stock worth up to $1,400. Webull is much more than a free stock trading app, and I have a free tutorial video on Webull that's so good, Webull actually called me after viewing it. Both the promo and Webull tutorial link are in the description below.